I think the most prominent image I remember about bars is that when the TV news would be on, and they'd say, uh, so-and-so knocked over this, and five guys would be screaming up the TV. Those bastards. Can you believe that? And once I quit, I began to realize, well, this is the peanut gallery. These are the guys sitting in the bars, and they're not changing anything. That's right, nothing changes. You know, and, and it's uh, easy to bitch at a TV set. My one rule about saloons, I don't go in alone. Um, when I do Why? go with somebody, Why? because uh, if I don't have a reason to go in there, if I'm not going with somebody, um, there's nothing in there for me. OK, but now that kind of goes out the window when I go with, uh, with you or, or, or with uh, other friends of mine to a joint like the Billy Goat. There's history there. You know, and then and then I begin to realize, is hard as I fought to uh, make sure that alcohol didn't take over my life again. Part of my history is in these saloons, and I can't get away from that. It's like uh, I read this book by Harry Cruz once, and it was about growing up in the South and how he really hated being a sharecropper, you know, and and being dirt poor. And uh, one day, he, he was bailing hay with his cousins, and uh, it was real hot out. And he said, oh, god damn that sun. And his cousins kind of flinched, you know, because down there, you know, nature had the ass over you. You, you don't curse the sun. You don't curse God. It's the same thing. And I, I began to realize a big part of my life was spent in bars, in saloons. And to pretend that it never happened and to live in fear of a drink was not sound either, you know? So now I don't, you know, if, if there's something going on uh, at this saloon or that saloon, I refuse to live in fear of a, of a drink. There is a certain atmosphere in, uh, in taverns that people kind of let down their guard. Uh, they'll be inordinately honest with people they barely know. Sometimes these rooms bring out the best of human beings and sometimes the worst. And when they bring out the best, they're a good time. You know, cheers. That's, that's it. That's it. I'm glad you told me. Glad you asked. <laughs>